This is the C-Key Industry 4 Fun 4 Pro Art, the most expensive and luxurious small form factor case I've ever built in. Designed specifically for the ASUS Pro Art 40 series graphics cards. It's the perfect blend of engineering and modern art. Crafted from industrial 6063 aluminum alloy, the 4 Fun 4 weighs an impressive 24 pounds fully assembled, but like all precision tools, it comes with its limitations. GPU compatibility is locked to the ASUS ProArt RTX 4070 Ti, Ti Super, 4080, and the 4080 Super. Cooling clearance caps out at 67 millimeters, and the only power supply option is the ASUS ROCK Low-Key SFX L power supply. Motherboard compatibility, fortunately, is more flexible. Any mini ITX motherboard should suffice. Even unboxing this case feels different. It arrives in a wooden crate, a first for me. I've seen reviews where a crowbar was needed. Luckily, this one comes with easy turnstile latches. Inside, Dit's packaging protects what feels like a miniature fortress. The 4 Fun 4 isn't just hefty, it's overbuilt and fantastic. Let's get started. Sticking to the ASUS theme, I chose the Strix X670EI, their highest tier M5 mini ITX board. With plenty of features and connectivity, Paired with Ryzen 9 9900X, a 12-core enthusiast-level processor. Admittedly, it's more than this build needs, so I will limit the power profile to keep the thermals in check. For memory, I'm using the G-Skill Ripjaws S5 DDR5, 64GB between two sticks. They're Intel optimized, but run perfectly fine on AMD platforms. Cooling is a balancing act. ID Coolant's IS67 XT is the recommended cooler, but I couldn't secure one in time. I initially tried the IS55 for my NR200P build, but its low profile struggled against the tall VRM heat sinks on the Strix board. After extensive research, I landed on the Deepcool AN600, a cooler with a similar heat fin layout and footprint to the IS67 XT. It disperses air from the sides, which is crucial for cooling in this case specifically. The case features channels on both sides of the motherboard for a heat dissipation. I swap out the stock fan for the Noctua NFA 12 15mm Chromax, keeping noise low without compromising airflow. Installing the motherboard is straightforward. The IO plate faces down, secured by four hex 2 screws. Next, connect the Gen 4 PCIe riser cable. I made the tragic mistake of believing that all 40 series Pro Art cards are compatible. The 4070 and the 4070 Super's power connector is just too low on the PCB and will not fit in this case. To install the GPU, remove the screws from the IO plate and the two long screws on the back of the card. The GPU slides in, cleanly locking into place. It's secured at the top and bottom by screws, but you want to do that later. The 4 Fun 4 Pro Art case is starting to take shape. Although the low-key SFXL power supply is the only choice, you can choose the power you need. I have the 850 watt variant in the sick white and silver color because I couldn't source the black one. You can't tell from the outside anyway. It comes with really premium white ATX 3.0 cables and a white ATX bracket, along with silver screws. The fan is RGB, and although I'm not a fan of RGB fans, this unit creates a really cool lighting effect in the PSU intake channel in this case. You have to remove the PSU fan grill with these four screws. The C-Key provides custom sleeve cables, including the crucial 12 volt high power cable pre-installed on the bottom PSU bracket. A second bracket mounts on top, framing the PSU for installation. Slide it in carefully, making sure the GPU power connector connects properly. Don't force it. In this case, space is at a premium, so they include these shortened PSU cables, the 12 volt high power cable for the GPU, the 24 pin ATX cable for the motherboard, and the EPS cable for the CPU. Time for the final touches. The vented side panel snaps into place. The rear panel covers the motherboard and PSU, sealing off the back. The top panel secures everything together, including the GPU. Finally, the magnetic top cover, a clean minimum touch to finish it off. And there it is, compact, dense, a true piece of industrial art, the final boss of small form factor cases. Here is what this build sounds like at 40 decibels. Here is what this unit sounds like at 45 decibels with the Pro Art fans activated.
Let's break down the pros and cons. Starting with the cons, the price, $5.99 USD. And if you live in Canada, you probably have to pay import tax like me. And so that equates to around 1200 Canadian dollars or about 1,040 USD. GBU compatibility is limited, but that's why you buy this case. You buy it for the pro art look. And lastly, the weight. This case weighs a metric ton. Now for the pros. It blends in seamlessly with the pro art GPUs and the case has great plant airflow. The fit and finish is also exceptional. I only got a few minor blemishes from dropping some pounds on the desk, but I think uh, the case won that battle. Solid thermal performance, even with a power limited 9900X. The case does get warm to the touch and kind of acts like a heat sink. So when you do touch it, it will be very warm if you're under a heavy workload. And Cinebench R24, the multi-core test, the 9900 peaked at 83 degrees under load. Single core performance is 78 degrees. After an hour of firmware, the GPU hotspot hit 83 degrees with an average of 70. During 60 minutes of Call of Duty Black Ops 6, CPU TDI temps were 88 degrees, while the GPU hotspot to max out at 72 degrees. Very good in my opinion. With 4K high settings, with DLSS set to quality and frame gen on, we saw 92 frames per second on average. There's a good chance you'll have better results with an 8 core gaming processor like the 7800 or 9800 X3D. For those chasing luxury, the Forefun 4 Pro Art stands alone. If you're looking for the ultimate Pro Art experience, this is it. While the Pro Art 40 series still holds its ground, this case might already be on borrowed time. The Forefun 4 Pro Art was made for this moment, but once the 50 series rolls out, it could be left behind. If you own it, you own a piece of engineering that may never come again, or we could just wait for the next iteration featuring the 50 series Pro Art cards.